police have issued an order prohibiting tours involving a group of people traveling together to a foreign or domestic destination by private operators after the number of cases in the state reached 31. However, if anyone has to travel, including private tour operators, or need to travel under exceptional circumstances, they may do so after seeking permission from the Office of Commissioner of Police. Before this, Mumbai police urged their personnel to greet people with a namaste instead of handshakes in wake of the coronavirus outbreak in Maharashtra. A day before the Kamal Nath government in Madhya Pradesh is to face a flow test in the assembly, a minister flagged the threat of coronavirus and suggested that proceedings in the house could be put off. Ministers for Public Relations PC Sharma's comment came at a briefing after the cabinet meeting today. He said that the cabinet discussed how coronavirus outbreak has led to postponement of state assemblies in several states. However, whether it should be replicated in Madhya Pradesh will be decided by the house only when it meets on Monday. A special Air India aircraft carrying 220 passengers, which included 211 Indian students and seven compassionate cases who were stuck in Italy after flights were cancelled due to a coronavirus outbreak, landed in Delhi this morning. The evacuation by India was carried out after the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus outbreak a pandemic and said that Europe is the epicenter of the virus. It is the worst hit European nation with 1,411 deaths due to coronavirus. The country reported 175 deaths on Saturday. 270 passengers of a Dubai-bound Emirates flight were floated at the Kochi airport in Kerala today shortly before takeoff after a British national among them tested positive for coronavirus. All the passengers of the Emirates flights have been taken to the hospital for screenings and medical checkups. The man had boarded the flight along with this group of 18 others who were holidaying in the hill station of Munar in Kerala and was under surveillance. He allegedly did not inform the authorities in Munar while leaving the hotel where he was quarantined and reached Kochi airport. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases in India rose to 107, prompting the center to declare virus outbreak a notified disaster. On Sunday, Iran reported 1,209 new cases of novel coronavirus and 113 deaths over the past 24 hours. The death toll in Iran now stands at 724. Earlier on Sunday, a senior official leading the country's response to the worst coronavirus outbreak in the Middle East had acknowledged that the pandemic would overwhelm health facilities. The real number of infections could be even higher as the questions have been raised about the government's transparency. Former Congress President Rahul Gandhi criticized Prime Minister Nain Modi after the government raised excise duty on petrol and diesel at a time when the global oil prices have crashed. Rahul took to Twitter that just three days ago, I had requested Prime Minister Narendra Modi to pass on the benefit of the global oil price crash to Indian consumers by slashing the prices of petrol and diesel in India. Instead of heeding this advice, our genius has gone and hiked the excise duty on fuel. On Saturday, the centre raised excise duty on petrol and diesel by Rs 3 per litre.